Greetings. My name is Will Green, and I serve as the Associate Pastor and Director of Discipleship at Foundry United Methodist Church in Washington, D.C. You know, on the journey of discipleship, there's no greater source of strength, hope, or peace than the words of Scripture. The author of 2 Timothy puts it this way, All Scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that everyone who belongs to God may be proficient, equipped for every good work. This video is one in a series being offered by our Discipleship Ministries team, which invites us deeper into the gift of Scripture through reflectively reading the Psalms. It's our hope that, no matter where you find yourself on the journey, you'll find in these moments we share together now strength for the living of these days, hope that like living water will sustain you, and peace which will accompany you no matter what tumults or transitions you are now or may yet in the future face. From all of us to you, blessings on the journey. As we prepare to reflect on the words of Psalm 91, I want to invite you to prepare the space in which we'll reflect together. Find a place to sit comfortably with your eyes closed. Relax, be in love and faith to God. As you listen to the Psalm, choose a word or phrase or image that speaks to God's love for you and your sincere intention to be in the presence of that love. Whenever, as you listen or reflect on the questions we'll ask later, you find your mind wandering, let that word, phrase or image be an anchor to draw you back into this time of sacred reflection. And now receive the words of Psalm 91, sometimes called a psalm of assurance of God's protection. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in the darkness or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, no scourge, come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they shall bear you up so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Those who love me, I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation.
I invite you to open your eyes now. For the next five minutes, I want to offer you some invitations to reflect upon the psalm we've just heard. The questions will be displayed on your screen and music will accompany each as we seek to discern what God is speaking to us through the psalm. What does this psalm say about who God is for you? What are God's characteristics, attitudes, or intentions toward creation? How does the psalm suggest we can know God's love or presence in our lives. say about creation and especially you? What in the psalmist words helped you connect with your own joy, fear, doubt or uncertainty? What does it say about our relationships with one another? What invitations does it give us to live in more loving relationships with others? about the relationship that God shares with the world? What invitations does it offer you to more fully live in the presence of God's love or to share that love with other people? In what ways does it offer you strength, hope or peace as you seek to do this?
beloved, having reflected on the word of God, let us pray either silently or together. Mighty God, our strength and hope, you have not left us on our own, struggling to find you without direction. Rather, you have come among us, and in the scriptures of the synagogue and the church, you have given us the reliable record of your presence. Open anew the meaning of what we read, that by the gifts of your Holy Spirit, we may be strengthened and sent forth to do your work in the world. Through Christ, who is the living word, amen. joining us today. No matter where you are, who you are, or where you go next, we pray that this time will be a blessing to you on the journey.